going. Drew's still running back. Keep that introduction going. Drew's still running back. Okay. Got it? Now, without further ado. Okay, now without further ado. Let's go. Get to it. Get to it. All right, wrap it up. Wrap up the introduction. Let's go. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Come on. Come on. Get to it. Get to it. Get to it. Hey! Whoa. That's me. I'm the oh, oh. I am tall tonight. I am fucking tall tonight, baby. No, I'm just kidding, Drew. Um, yes, welcome to the Eastside Dave Show. Another round of applause. Oh, my God. Thank you for that introduction, Roy. It was You're very, very welcome, succinct. David. It was beautiful. Roy Harder. It was just wonderful. It was quick. It was brief. It made sense. It was awesome. Um, yes, we have a big show uh, planned uh, this evening. But first, we're going to start with a gratuitous, shitty Talk show monologue. I've been waiting, yeah, David. Yeah, yeah. This one's extra shitty. I just reread it. I was like, wow, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I gotta stop going to Roy's to write these monologues an hour and a half before the show. And also smoking reefer with Roy Harder. Come on, Roy Harder. Another round of applause. Um, so Meghan Markle gave birth to a boy yesterday. He's the first child for Meghan and Prince Harry. Sources say that in a gesture of goodwill, Meghan wants to name the child after her father. So I'm assuming the baby's name is going to be Prince White Trash Gold Digger the <laughs> First. I like it, David. You're up to a good start, buddy. That's a good start. Was that one good, Roy? I liked it. Did you like that one, Roy? Enough, Roy. Enough. <laughs> Starbucks has received more than 11 and a half million bucks in free advertising thanks to a coffee cup that was accidentally left in a scene on Game of Thrones. In related news, a compound media person left a Coke can out on the set of the Eastside Dave show last week, giving Coca-Cola more than $11.50 in free advertising. So, I want half, that's, I want half. You ain't getting it. I want half. You're not getting half. That's mine. That's my 11.50, you son of a bitch. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Roy, in yes, case yes. you're wondering, that compound media person's name was Bobo. Oh. Well, and as punishment, he's scheduled to get burned alive tonight in Times Square. Come on. Rock his enthusiasm for that. We're going to light that motherfucker up. Right in Rockefeller Plaza, baby. We're going to light you up, baby. Because, you know, it's always nice in Christmas time with the tree and shit. And then it's like it's fucking May and we got nothing to look forward to. We're going to light little Bo's ass on fire tonight. Yeah. Right in Rockefeller Plaza, baby. You and that stupid Mets hat. Your team's really choking, huh? Just as I predicted. My Yankees are playing with a bunch of scrubs, a bunch of no-name replacement players. We're only 2014. Six games over 500, two games out of first. Your team is below 500. Am I right about that, Bo? Yeah. Three. Get the microphone on his ass, Mike Man. I'm on three it. Three and a half out of first. Three and a half out of first. But you're 16 and 19. The last time I checked. Yeah. Keep it on his ass, Jimmy. Bo. Yeah, that's correct. My team's won 27 championships. How many has your team Woo. won again? Just out of curiosity. Three. Damn. Three. Damn. I mean two. 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 I'm, my team's won 27. You're winning, David. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. You're winning. His team, Andrew's won. Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's better material than any of these shitty monologue jokes. That's funny fucking shit, Bo. And Bo tried to give his goddamn team an extra championship. Fuck that, Bo. It's a chance, sir. You didn't win in 2000 against the New York Yankees. Am I right, Andrew? Yeah. Yes. I love you, Andrew. Two points. Yes. You're on it tonight. Yes, Roy's on it tonight. Yes, Jimmy, you're off it. Minus 15. The beard is... Minus 15. It's stopping the oxygen flow to the head. I don't know what's wrong with him tonight. Uh, Snoop Dogg isn't happy that Louis Farrakhan has been banned from Facebook and Instagram. Luckily, Farrakhan has already registered a new name at Instagram. You can find him at black underscore Hitler 69. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't like Jews almost as much as Roy doesn't like Jews. That's... <laughs> Um, some loser horse named Country House 
fucking stole my money. He was awarded the 145th Kentucky Derby on a technicality wow. on Saturday. Did you see this? Do you watch sports at all? You were on the Davy Mac Sports Program for years. <laughs> not, not horse racing. Not David. horse not racing. Horses. Did you no. hear about the story at all? It was no, a big sir. story. No, sir. Well, maximum security <laughs> was a horse. He finished first. He was later disqualified. It's a horse I bet money on. So, um, yeah, the Dave Man is taking donations at PayPal. My email is didvod at AOL.com. That's D-I-D-V-O-D -D at AOL.com because I lost 200 bucks on this shitty decision and my phone bill needs to get paid, baby. Yeah! <laughs> So much of a joke as a real true blue cry for help. It, two hundred dollars. That that fucking technicality robbed me. I got inside information from a horse connection that will you please stop it? It's not the time to laugh. You don't just do that the entire time. Will you shut up, please? Eddie Trunk says Paul Stanley is relying on backing tracks on the current KISS tour. <laughs> right, well, Surprise! I know, you're telling me that KISS is an inauthentic band? I haven't had to say no shit this strongly since Barry Manilow came out of the closet. I mean, come on. <laughs> I was ready to dance all night long, baby. Oh, I was gonna make this a goddamn hour and a half of dancing. Let's do it. Let's just, let's just have an experimental East Side Dave show and see if I can sit up here and dance. Come on, let's do it. For as long as possible, come on. Yeah. All right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Tiger Woods was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom yesterday. Tiger celebrated by fucking the nearest Perkins waitress he could get his yeah, hands bro. on. <laughs> I like that one, David. <laughs> Luke Perry was laid to rest recently in an environmentally friendly mushroom burial suit. I have no idea what that means. But when I die, I want to be stuffed with dynamite and detonated here at Compound Media so that I take the rest of the East Side Dave Show with me! Now hit my fucking music, man! This lab mic is hard to take off. I said it! Fucking music, man! Oh yeah, you did already. You're on it. Another two points for you. Thanks, sir. You're on it. Well, well, well. We are here on May 7, 2019, to convene for another program of sorts. But I'm not sure what kind of program it is. I mean, it's not a radio show, right, Andrew? No, it's, it's not. Right? No. All right. Wait, wait, okay. Television. It's a, is it a television show? No, who would have us on? Who would have us on? That's a fantastic point. Oh, there you go, because you this one across the, the, the. I don't know. What are we watching here, Andrew? Watching these side Dave show. Big side Dave! Oh. All right, Roy. Yes. Yes. You're on it, Roy. Oh, yeah, baby. Roy Hart is feeling. Ready, Roy? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for And no religion to Imagine all the people Living life in peace You, you may say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us And the world will be as one Roy Hunter! Imagine 
old possessions I wonder if you can No need for greed or hunger A brotherhood, a man Imagine all the people Sharing all the world You may say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us And the world will live as one You may say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us And the world will live as one Oh, come on! Put your fucking hands together and applaud, Jimmy! Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, you're on my last nerve tonight. What? Rocket's enthusiasm means one thing. Applaud wildly. Okay, let's let's play a game, Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> Rocket's enthusiasm! Yeah. Where is the applause? That's Put fair. those two fucking meat hooks together and applaud! Like this! Oh, no, yeah. when you That's and now you're off camera. Okay, that's better, Jimmy. That's much better. You know, Andrew's pissed off at you. I'm pissed off at Andrew. Oh, shit. I wasn't even going to start with this tonight. Oh, boy. But I see Andrew's fucking side. What do you see inside about? What do you see it about? I, I don't. What did I do? Do you like this? Is this sexy or is this, like, threatening? Hold on. It's both. <laughs> it's both. Andrew, what's the deal? You sent me a furious message, and then even before the show tonight, it's not a bit, hopping mad, screaming about Jimmy to me and Roy before the program tonight. I was upset. And I think there's some sort of um, uh -oh. uh, Andrew screen capped a message, Drew, that happened uh, with these two uh, nitwits on Facebook. <laughs> not you, no. Andrew. Jimmy's both nitwit. Well, it's Jimmy <laughs> and the person in Jimmy's head. What is this? Um, so, yeah, something you don't want... Jimmy is saying to Andrew, you don't want me to come tomorrow. Right? right? Yeah. You're referring to the Side Dave show? Right, right, you're, yeah. You're accusing Andrew of not wanting you to come to the show. Well, I was being sarcastic to put a little levity in our relationship, and he didn't even answer Did you me. have a wink emoji con? Did you have LOL? some sort of LOL? Well, I'm, 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 I'm a little smiley face? Did you do that? No. Did you do a little colon with the parenthesis? How about that? Did you do that? Do that? Is that you do a call in? Well, you gotta indicate sarcasm. You could put an eggplant emoji. This is how Roy Harder you. and I have gotten into many an arguments yeah. until yeah. we've finally said, "Let's not text each other for the rest of our lives." It's true, David. One time I said to Roy, <laughs> "You're even kidding." I said to Roy, "You're killing me." In a very New Jersey like, <laughs> so you know, I'll come away. Like, I'll fucking like, kill like, you. Like, <laughs> like, what kind of pizza did we get? Because I don't. Want, I like plain and pepperoni. Yeah. If, if someone gets sausage, I'm like, "Ah, oh, you're killing me." What do you mean? You when, like when, when I text. Roy, you're killing me. He's like, you're killing me. I'm killing you, Dave. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. Roy threatened, then basically threatened to murder me really? via text message. Over a fucking slice of pizza. Yeah, it was something like that. Now, Andrew, <laughs> yes. what, what, what's the story here? What's going on between you and Jimmy? Why are you angry at him? I'm playing out. He's a lunatic. He's a lunatic. <laughs> That's, plain that's out. accurate. Plain out. I, that's I, I, I accurate, mean, Jim. <laughs> accurate. I hate to break down Continue, walls. Continue, Andrew. I hate, to, I hate to break down walls. Don't this break down good. walls. You're not Chris Jericho. <laughs> Don't break down any walls, baby. Oh Let's go. God. What else? What else has got you aggravated that Jimmy does? <laughs> Anything else? Or just overall, overall. overall nutcase? Yes. You didn't like that little you don't want me here yeah. tomorrow, right? You were like, what the fuck? Fuck, man. Well, why didn't he just say, what the fuck, man, on the thing? And I would have laughed and said, hey, buddy, we're friends. He didn't want to talk to you anymore. Why he not? He was like, I'm not. He logged out of Facebook. Oh. He was done. Done with that conversation. I think he was I think I, I, I I'm getting that. to a point where I have to get removed from the East Side Dave <laughs> Show Facebook it's group weird. chat that we're involved in. Because it's, it's just, crazy. It is too insane. It, it is. And you know what, Jimmy? What? Andrew's right about this. What? You're the main culprit <laughs> of the East Side Dave Show insane Facebook group chat that goes on. Roy never takes part, and I'm seeing it Roy's way now. Really? You know, I try to sometimes, <laughs> oh, Jimmy, we love you, and stuff like that. But, right. no, but, but Andrew, 
He's irritated. <laughs> you should apologize. You know what? I, but Flutie will answer something. She's always positive on yep. the on the text messages. Makes me happy because you're my family, a family that hates he doesn't me. Have a family, well, then you know. apologize to Andrew for what? <laughs> for accusing him of of banning you or but barring you from the Sight Dave we, show. I just, he would never do that. I'm sorry, Andrew. No, okay. Jimmy, sorry, what the Andrew. Fuck? You have no balls. sense of humor. What? Don't just oh, give in. Oh, what? You said, uh, he, I heard that, Andrew. What, I, what? I apologize. But it he was... said, I'm sorry that Big A has no sense of humor. Oh. Oh. I heard it. What did I say? You said it. I didn't you said it. What do you mean? What I, said? I don't need this. I don't need this. Apology accepted. Uh, what a motherfucker. Uh, what? Uh, Holy shit. I would never shit. say that. I knew this was going to happen. I would never say that. This, this is the. Well, I'm holy telling you. Smokes. This well, has the makings of you. ugly I'm in the episode. Middle. Keep yeah. going. This this is yeah. absolutely going to be a tumultuous episode. I, I can but guarantee you, it. Why, why, why do you have to say that? I love Andrew. I think he's a great photographer. All right. All right. That's that's better. All right. I, By I, the way, I got okay. I'm moving off you, Jimmy. I got a brand new card. <laughs> Can we zoom in on this, please? It's a beautiful um, card. Look, look at, at this. Zoom in, buddy. Big Whoa. A photos. Andrew has his own business cards. Why'd you I print them blurry? This. No, it's not. It's that's the camera. The camera's blurry. True, get oh, it. I thought it was for effect. Yes, no, <laughs> it's not clever. for effect. <laughs> that would be very bad if a world-class <laughs> photographer had blurry photos. I thought it was just kind of cool. I'd be like, wow, he's, he's onto something here. No, he's not. That's just the camera. Um, I love this business card. I'm gonna put it in my wallet. And or I might put it on this little bulletin board that I have at work for all fun little things, so I can look it around uh, and, and get into a brighter mood in the morning. Yes, Andrew. Uh, uh, I got one too, Big A. I'm gonna hang one up also in my office. His office is the bathroom. <laughs> by the way. Keep your eye out for this man. <laughs> <laughs> and if you give me one, I'll He's gonna put his up at the post <laughs> office <laughs> under the wanted section. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, Andrew. Oh, uh, I just want to. Mention the person who did the design and the logo yeah. is Bill Augerman Pictures. Bill Augerman Pictures. Pictures. Well, he did the a wonderful Orgerman job. Pictures. The card is I a very give handsome him card. It's very good. It's like that American Psycho yep. card where they were right, all comparing yeah, yeah, cards. Yes, I yes. think this is a spectacular yes, yes. card. This would be the winner right there. Thank good, you. You know what? Four points for being class personified. Your class on the Eastside Dave Show. You're the exact opposite of Jim. What are you talking about? No class. Let's be honest. Yes. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No I class. was going to say something nice about it. He's one of the best photographers ever, I was going to say. I and that's no bullshit. I did tell Jimmy before the show because he is uh, Mr. Broadway. Yeah. He uh, acts in musicals and directs musicals. Yeah, he's yeah. in one right now. I told him uh, I went to... Uh, See, King of Kong, uh, no, King of Kong is the Billy Mitchell documentary. <laughs> I saw King Kong on Broadway. Yeah, the African film. And there's a character. <laughs> 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 Wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, please, David. There is an <laughs> the lead actress. <laughs> Jimmy, will you settle the fuck down? There's an African-American lead actress who plays Ann Darrow. Oh, that's what I meant. Yes. That's, yes. that's what I wanted to say. Anyway, the... Uh, uh, the guy, there's a character called Lumpy, and if you've oh, ever God. seen Jimmy on the Eastside Dave show, you've seen Lumpy. <laughs> they, he looks exactly like you, this character. And when I f went to the Broadway thing, I was like expecting, you know, like I thought originally, oh, it's a giant monkey, it's gonna be awesome and yeah. stuff. But the first song had me nervous because mm -hmm. it was very, you know, Broadway ish. Oh, yeah, you're right. Know? Yeah, Everyone's trying to tell me to go to work. But New York Town is the place to work. That's beautiful, man. I'm, I want to cry. You sound Go just like busy. Jimmy. Somebody give me a job <laughs> on Broadway. <laughs> I'll rock <laughs> your car. <laughs> I will have to tilt my body <laughs> just to get a part in your play. Oh, yeah. I need lots of work to do. I'm an actress. That's enough. That's, that's enough, Jim. That's enough, Jim. Now, um, okay, so uh, there are a few things.
By the way, yes, David. Um, Drew, do you have the pictures of the Met Gala? Did the Met see? Gala pictures. The Met Gala. Like Every, the, the, the Met Gala. The Met Gala. Everyone, uh, you know, in New York, it's probably not a, a giant. I don't know. It's on Twitter, so maybe it is. But uh, in New York, they have the Met Gala. Yeah. Gala. What Gala? is the Met it's Gala? Gala. 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 It's some Gala. fucking fashion show where the, fashion where show. each celebrity tries to outdo the the yeah. other one with nonsense. It's two hundred. Jared Leto. Yeah. Actually arrived with a head of Jared Leto. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> It was fucking crazy, That's and then uh, to... someone, Katy Perry, or so I don't know, someone dressed in a chandelier. It's just one nonsense. Yes, Andrew. Do you know what the theme was? No, what was the theme? Camp. 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 Like be campy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Be camp. Not camping, but well, campy. We be also camp. were invited. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the side yeah. Dave show because we are, you know, uh, we're we're very in. And when it comes to New York City, everyone's always stopping on our Hip. The streets. Hip. You know, can we get your autograph? He's yeah. Dave Show. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's it's actually it's difficult, but sometimes it's worth it when we get invited to the Met Gala. So we actually have some of our pictures. Here's Roy, I believe that that was your now. So your outfit at the Met Gala <laughs> yeah. was simply you holding a Hitler doll. That's your uh, favorite person. So yeah. that was like your accessory, <laughs> kind of like <laughs> a, yeah, yeah, my or okay. my date, if you will, David. All right, that's pretty avant-garde. Of you, um, and I, then I think we have Andrew Big A. Uh, he uh, had a dress on. Oh, oh look at that! A beautiful American <laughs> flag dress. <laughs> oh, lovely, fits him. Give it fits well. beautiful. You know what, Andrew? Those colors really do work for you. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say you, you might have it, actually yeah. stole the show. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, who's up next. <laughs> Uh, but just play it anyway. Oh, Other yeah. Jimmy. Oh my God. That Jimmy so was uh, Andy Warhol, Aaron Berg. Yeah, some kind <laughs> of uh, genie slash uh, you know a, a oh. homeless genie who's getting very old and uh, <laughs> ran out of wishes. <laughs> uh, had, and apparently uh, does not have a laundromat by his house because <laughs> you can see the stains on his T-shirt and they look like cum stains. <laughs> <laughs> like those are cum stains, Jim. Uh, by the you, way, you're not yeah, cleaning absolutely. your shirts that anymore. That looks like pal. your nipples sweat. Uh, it's it's gross. Uh, what's the next photo here? I, I'm sick of looking oh. at that. And I don't know who the, that is. Oh, uh, what a handsome I, man. I think I've heard his name being called the Midnight Rider. He but was raising hell. That's for sure. He was there oh. apparently. And who else do we got here? Uh, Robert yeah. the Intern just dressed up like Robert the Intern. There you go. So that was a, oh, a little beautiful. twist. I give you 15 points, Robert. Six shoes, because man. Because it's like when you dress like fucking Robert. Look at this outfit. When you dress like Robert, why the fuck do you need to put on a costume? Uh, you uh, look great. I'm yes, just Robert, an intern, oh, Robert, Dave. Robert wants to speak. I'm just Robert, an intern, the Dave. intern. I'm just an intern, Dave. Yes. So I didn't know what to wear. I just you didn't know what to wear. You know what? I'm just you an look intern. great. I'm just an you, intern. You look fantastic. Thank and then you, the sir. last one, I believe, was Bo. Uh, Bobo, and he, oh, look at that, uh, uh, some space helmet, a, a pink cowboy hat, and glasses. He, yeah. he still kept his glasses on with the Darth Vader hat, yeah. so that's good. Yeah. So, that I was, was late, I was late for the pictures. Yes, you were not so, uh, there for the pictures, my, per usual. My outfit wasn't Per captured. usual. It's not used. Um, another situation has developed. Oh, dear. Uh, difficult situation. Mike Francesa um, was talking about it, uh, what video games his children play. Mm -hmm. um, the name of the game that he was trying to say was NBA 2K. I do want you to listen closely. Um, Drew, do we have this uh, clip of Mike Francesa here? I have boys who are 12 and 14. They both have been baseball players their whole lives. Uh, they Just, do play can we fast in, forward in school, to like 30 seconds, Drew? They play all the sports. No. Uh, basketball all right. players. All right. You're absolutely right because A, social media, big factor. And they play the games. They play Madden. Oh, yeah. They play uh, Y2K. Is that the NBA? Y2K. Game? Y2K. Y2K. Oh. 2K. 2K. That's it. Uh, they 2K. Y2K. Uh, they play with that the NBA the players. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary broadcaster, run. Mike Francesa. Oh. There he is. Oh, my God. You know, it's like uh, my kids, uh, you know, uh, they play, uh, you know, Y2K, you know, which was uh, thought to be this, like, uh, technology 
kind of apocalypse, you know, it was dark, computers were gonna crash, okay? You know, Y2K, it's a game about, you know, airplanes <laughs> falling out of the sky, <laughs> New York City, Pandemonium, it's a great game. And then um, the other game that they like to play, I believe, was uh, called uh, JFK Assassin's <laughs> Creed, you know, and... This is a game where, you know, the people, they sit there, you know, this idea, the people, they go to Dallas in 1963, and they take shots out of Kennedy's head, you know, from the sixth floor of the Bork Depository, CIA, the CIA was involved, they were on the grassy knoll, we all know this. The other game that, uh, you know, this idea, the other game, this idea, you know, the other, the, this idea that, you know, the other game that my children play was uh, called, uh, I believe it was called, uh, Colombians trapped in a Minecraft. That was one. Uh, you know, so you play the game and it's a bunch of bad. Oh, save us. Oh, Ios Mio, I'm praying. Oh, you know, they underground for 15 days. I guess the, the object is to uh, climb out. I'm not sure about these games. Here's one that's fairly racist. Roy's gonna love this. It's called MLK Kong. You know, uh, it's like Donkey Kong, but instead of, the, you know, Martin Luther King is throwing barrels, kidnapping white women. You know, if you ever read several reports from J. Edgar Hoover, you know that it's possible that MLK did have affairs with white women. You know, it's okay. Listen, this idea that you can't have, you know, relations with white women if you're, a, you know, this way. You know, there's also another game, you know, it's like a puzzle game, you know, it's old school, it's My Wife Ro Has Big Titris. Uh, I don't, you know, it's from Russia, apparently, you, the square, and then you get four lines, you go, oh, Titris! And everyone's like, that. here's a game that uh, Floatsy would love, it's called Puerto Rican Theft Auto, because we all know dirty uh, Latinos, you know, what they do with the thing, and all that. Here's a Here's one that, uh, you know, I think uh, Roy again would love. It's Black Guy on Welfare Line for a Fortnight. Uh, it's very popular with the online gaming community. You know, people are in their headsets, like, what are you doing? I'm, well, I'm, I'm still online waiting for my hand-me-out, you know, for not doing any work. I'm still looking to get paid for doing jack and shit, you know. <laughs> That's what uh, people do. Here's one game, I'm not even sure what this one's about, but it's called Pol Pot the Hedgehog. I think what, you, you have to do some sort of weird death camp scenario, mass genocide, you know, people getting killed. Huge graves, you know, people, bodies stacked on bodies, it's really... And then, here's one for the um, homosexual community, it's called Gay Invaders. You know, a bunch of gay men come from the top of the screen, you gotta, I don't know, shoot dicks at them, and then maybe, you know, they'll suck, I'm not sure. And then this last game that my kids love to play is called Super Mario Holocaust. So, yeah, you can figure that one out for yourself. I'm Mike Francesa, fuck you, America! <laughs> video games, David. Video games. Yeah, you were going with the video games. Video right? games. So I was helping you out. Um, yeah. Thank you, Roy. Um, <laughs> well, I got to tell you, Roy. What's that, buddy? You're in good form tonight, my friend. I am, aren't I? You're looking good and you're feeling good, aren't you? I feel great. Yeah. Did you have uh, more notes of talking points? Did you, did you bring uh, notes? Got Last him, week. Got them right here, buddy. You, you, oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, what's a, uh, you know... Uh, a scheduled Roy Harder <laughs> impromptu conversation. Well, tomorrow... Which is sort of a, you know, oxymoron. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Tomorrow I'm mixing a Reebok sneaker commercial, David. Yeah! yeah. Featuring Ooh, Tokyo yeah. Vanity Ooh. from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. This yes. is going to be rapping. Oh, right. Oh, so you're going to work with a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo Vanity is her name. From Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. That's fantastic. Congratulations Thank on you, buddy. That. And uh, after that... Okay. I'm sound More? designing a, a Nickelodeon spot. Yeah. Nickelodeon? Yeah. I got more, buddy. Well done. These are all the Roy Harder impromptu talking points yeah, that you yeah. have written got, down got a on your phone. I got a couple more to go through, oh, Okay, a couple more talking points. This weekend, I'm going to be you, composing... You'll have to use them all at once. We well, could... You know, I, all I, right, go, go ahead. Go I'm composing ahead. a new more. theme song and music package for the Neil deGrasse Tyson show, Star Talk. Star Talk. Yeah, Ooh. that's a that's a Ben Ratner. Oh, uh, yeah. Ben Ratner put that deal together. Roy Harder, nice. the best sound designer in the there biz right there. Yeah, he is. You want more, buddy, or you want to no, go to no, someone no. else? I, I'll, let's do some talking points later on. Okay, is I got that more fair? for you. Is that okay with you? Buddy. Absolutely. Are you, are you okay with that? I'm great now. Right, don't I feel... get all defensive. Yeah. Are you all right with that? I'm cool. <laughs> don't be all, you know. 
It's all right. Go all to right. someone else now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a lot of animosity, Andrew. Yes. Right in the room. So yes. I think it's time to get just have a nice cathartic moment and get rid of the animosity by playing a game called Point. The finger. Oh, okay. I love this game. Roy, I point like talking shit. finger. <laughs> you like talking shit? Oh boy. It was more like point the finger. Point, point the, the finger. finger. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, all right. Roy's really getting into the electronic sounds. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like it. It's like a Radiohead concert. There here. you go. Um, so, uh, I don't know if you want to provide some sort of musical bed or musical accompaniment, but I'm going to ask you, uh, Andrew, uh, point the finger at someone. The only rule of the game is you have to point the finger and give us a reason why, um, right. uh, that person's maybe ruffling your feathers a little bit. Right. They have to be here, here, right now, right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, Mr. Champion. Anyone in that room, anyone in this, uh, anyone right. over there. Uh, Andrew, who on the show is keeping... Keeping you down. Jimmy. 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 Yeah, that's no surprise there. Why? No surprise at all. No surprise. Why? He attacks me every turn he gets. He attacks you every turn, turn he, gets. he gets. See your reputation? Do you I see? have. Hold on. I'll go to you next. Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Who on the east side? Oh, Roy. Point, point the finger. Point the finger. Point the finger. <laughs> Jimmy. Who on the East Side Dave Show needs the biggest attitude adjustment? Big A. Uh, oh, that was coming. Oh, so, that was coming. Oh, that was simple. Oh, saw that so, one coming. See, yeah, the I fucking mean, ones that saw that coming. That was easy. I, know. Know. Wait, what am I, I rest my case. I rest my Stevie case. Stevie Wonder's dead. <laughs> wow. No, 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 oh, no. No, I rest my no, case. I, he hasn't, I haven't even explained why, and he's got Let an attitude. Explain. He's oh right, God, Andrew. Go ahead, explain. Why does Andrew need the biggest attitude adjustment? Because everything is everything is negative with him. Okay. Yeah. If Bobo does something good, it shoot Bobo down. Oh wow. If Jimmy does something, you know, hey, I'm doing this, it shoot you. Yeah, yeah. When I first got my play in the fall, we were at that place for dinner. Oh, Jimmy's got to play like I got an attitude. I miss you guys when I'm away. Oh. He's got, I do. I, this half is my a point. life. Half a point, Jim. I, I smell a breakdown. Us. Half a point. You know, I have a point. Yeah. By the way, uh, just a real quick question. Have you fallen off the wagon? <laughs> You're coming across that way. Are you drinking again? Be honest now. No, but can no I say No one judges. So? I'm not, no, I know, I know that, I know. I used to do CBD, which, which used to focus yeah, me a little more. Yeah, but it's not, yeah. And now I, I don't know if I can get it or not get it. I'm feeling guilty. Oh, we can get you CBD. We can get you CBD like that. Really? Are you kidding me? Yes. I got some on me right now. I, I need wow. it. I'm talking and, to and, and Davey Mac and Roy Hart. You know, I can helps me memorize my lines. Okay. I keep more focused and I haven't been, I don't know, like they say June 15th. Yeah, you need a lot of CBD. I do need CBD. You need like flat out like heroin and, at this point. <laughs> you need something that will bring you so I down. I do, I feel. Uh, pass the microphone over to Bo. Point the finger. Point the finger. You're pointing the finger bow, and I haven't even given you a scenario yet. Oh, it's kind of okay. odd. Okay. You didn't even hear what I said oh, I because it. I didn't say anything. Okay. You were pointing the finger at who, Bo? Uh, Big A. <laughs> at who? Big A. At Big A. Yet me. you didn't even get a scenario thrown at you at all that right. point. All right. You all right, Bo? I'm all right. I, I mean, can you see the future? Is this a new character? You 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 know what I'm gonna say? You're telepathic. No. You're like that little Bo. Brand Stark, three-eyed Raven kid. Bo, no. uh, Bo, uh, Bo, Bo Namus. Bo Namus? Is that you? Bo Are you Bo Namus? Bo Namus. I said Bo Namus. Asshole. Bo. <laughs> well, because something is yet. To Microphone, happen. Bo. Because it's something that's yet to happen that I see. All right, but I don't uh, know what that means, but I'll, but, I'll give you a chance I, to explain. But, what, I, but I see Big A causing a flight to be delayed that I happen to be on. Oh, wait a second. So he's bringing something new to the table that we don't even know about. Ooh. He's accusing you of sabotaging his flight. In the <laughs> is, future. Don't is cry, Big paranoia? In the future. It is yes, paranoia, it is. Andrew. Yes, In the future. And I can't believe Andrew's getting attacked like In the like future, this. that is. Andrew will crush your little fucking heads like grapes. Bo, what, what? Eastside Dave Show member is the biggest liar? Get that microphone up to your mouth, please. Mm. Point the finger. Point that would be finger. Roy Harder. Whoa! Oh, oh shit! Roy's the biggest liar! Did he really go there? He went there! Oh. 
Holy man. shit. Holy shit. Did you expect that? No, David. Oh. I didn't expect that at oh all. Oh, my God. That wasn't in the script. All right, Roy. Right, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, I'm just, I, I, uh, yeah. All right, Roy. Oh, uh, yes, David. Who on the East Side Dave oh, Show would you God. throw oh. out of oh, that God. window over there oh, to save the rest of us? Point the, the finger. Point the finger. Point the finger. Say his name, too, Roy. Uh, uh, I'm going to rob the intern! Robert the intern! Oh! Whoa! Son of a bitch, he's been looking at me weird all night, well, David. Why did you see that come in? Oh, yeah. Why did you see that come in? Oh, he's just an intern! Sorry, I forgot your name there for a second. I, I didn't have it written down on my phone. <laughs> oh, my man! Robert the intern! The intern is pleasant as pie. He, I happen to know for a fact... To you, David! ...that he gives you pot after the show. Oh, all right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you forgot about that. It's You're just right. an intern. All the that. marijuana in your goddamn an brain. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Robert. I'm just an intern. What, he's just an intern, Roy. Right. He's just an intern. Fair enough, David. Jesus. All right, Flutzy. Yes. Point the finger. Point the finger. Point Who? the finger. Who on the East Side Dave show is the most pathetic human being? Damn. Most pathetic. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yes, a lot. <laughs> you cannot say all of the above. How am I supposed to pick one? You're, uh, you're not allowed to say damn. everyone. You all need right, to be specific. Uh, you need to point the finger at someone. Point. Say their the name finger. and the reason why. Point. point. The right. finger. Um, point. The finger. Point. I'm going to say. Wait, hold it. Hawk. Oh, Hawk. Oh, do not oh, give man. Hawk. A break. Again. Hawk. Jeez. You know what why? The fuck? Where are my lyrics, Hawk? Where are my lyrics? Hawk. No, I have my music, but not my lyrics. Hawk, I don't know why. My she, she will not get off your case. It's been weeks, if it's not months. It's also funny. <laughs> Wait till we play the flutesy game. Oh, oh. oh are you going to sabotage me? Are you gonna no, I'm going to give Hawk a chance right now. What East Side Dave Show member is the <laughs> dumbest, Hawk? No, get the hell out Point the finger. Point the finger. Hold on. Point the finger. We're, we're, we're Point. singing the song. Okay, now Hawk. Uh, that would be Flutesy. Flutesy! Oh. <laughs> She's the dumbest. Why? According to Hawk. Why? 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 Yeah, why? Just look at her. Oh, oh man! God oh. damn it! This is a contentious episode, Point. and I knew I'm it was going to be. Point the finger. Point the finger. And that was. Point. Point the finger. Point the finger. <laughs> Great. Bravo. Do you feel Bravo. good about that, Jim? Yeah, it lowered my blood pressure. Do you have... Um, so I told you it would be cathartic. Yes. It's good to just get it out, and now let's make an agreement to move on if we can. I know it's not always our strong suit. We seem to like to hold grudges and stay bitter. But let's just move on. But I would, in fact, but allow he... you to sing us a little song. Yeah? If you have one prepared. Yes. Oh, yeah, I do. A nice little song. Everyone likes that when you sing... And you're here, you're a Broadway actor. You've accomplished a lot in life. You're still going for that Columbine look. Oh, but now you're like that. a Columbine B with the black and what yellow. What kind of tempo we at here? Now, let's play that. That sounds good. I'll make it work. You, you like that? I like it. You like All right, Jimmy, take it away. What's this song about? What's well, the theme? Why here? do I hate myself? Why do I hate myself? By Jimmy Blackman. Why do I hate myself? I put my emotions on the shelf I have a lot of love Without no direction I need a blue chew to get an erection But it didn't last too long I then become a stud I feel something's wrong so watch out bud I want my, have my feelings for love I wanna climb to the ceiling from the chandelier above why do I hate myself I put my emotions on the shelf I have a lot of love without no direction I need a blue chew to get an erection Jimmy everyone Thanks. Jimmy Blackman Jimmy I I guess uh
give me a sponsorship from Blue Chew well, you know for what? the episode? I wish I did. I wish, if they were going to be our sponsors, <laughs> I would change the blue pill. But if they come back, I'll write, I'll write my little song for Blue Chew. All right, please. I'm They're a Blue not Chew a sponsor now, so we don't give shout outs yeah, to sponsors. Right, okay, They're right, not actually giving us money. No, fuck screw that. Them. Then. I'm not going to tell those I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you how good that product is for me. That's all. Someone informed <laughs> me that there is a website called Cameo.com, and on this Ooh. website, celebrities give personalized messages. I've heard of this. David. Um, and I decided to set up an Eastside Dave Show account, and believe it or not, we got hits. Nice. And they said nice. that yes. Uh, they want some personalized messages, so we'll do it. Um, you know, maybe a one at a time. Maybe we'll have uh, you know you guys repeat them every once in a while. But um, like for instance, first up, uh, Roy, any kind of you know nice music. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, um, Andrew, uh, this one was from a listener named Charles, and he wanted uh, you to give him a cameo.com personalized video shout out because his wife recently left him. So I don't know. He, I guess he wants to feel better or something. So maybe uh, ju you know, just give him a, give him a little, give him a little personalized message right there, and I'll just we'll just take these and post them right to cameo.com. Okay. All this right. way, two birds, one stone. That whole thing. All, All right. right. So Charles is the gentleman's uh, okay. name. His uh, wife left. Him. Uh, um, um, hi Charles. I heard you're. Wife left you. It's probably um banging uh, um, guys uh, every night now. Okay. <laughs> the object. Oh. And then you laugh. Oh man. That's crazy. That's sad. Not what I was anticipating, but <laughs> listen, these are one and done. You know, if you've seen the East Side Dave show, Star Wars Spectacular. <laughs> And, um, oh, well, man. you know, I work in a very Ed Wood style. I definitely don't want retake. Flip, maybe Flutzy, maybe you could do the thing with Charles. Yes. Charles, his wife recently left him. Let's just, let's, let's let you take one. Charles, Charles, Poppy, listen. You don't need that bitch. You know why? Because I assume you're not overweight and stupid so Big maybe assumption. you can go out there and like find another bitch you know Big assumption so like there's like a lot of bitches out there you know what i mean so mm -hmm. i think you need to realize that you're worth more than just one bitch you could have five so oh, i think that should make man. you feel better about the fact that your marriage just failed and like went down the tube but that's okay okay all right that's, this is not going well let's just let's, let's just move like, on from charles to, all right charles flutzy you know. charles got his two messages um so that, that, that's good enough for me um uh, next up was a young boy timmy uh, Bo, you can take the microphone for this one. Uh, Bo, Timmy, his, uh, he's a little boy and his dog just died. And I guess uh, he's looking for a little pick-me-up. Uh, his parents asked us to make a video for Timmy on Cameo.com for his dog who just died. Or for him, because his dog just died. So, Bo, do you have uh, a personalized video for that young man? Uh, t Timmy, my thoughts go out to you. Class. It's gonna be tough, but in probably a couple of weeks you'll probably get a dog. Nice. That's that. Oh, that's that's all. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of thought seemed to be put into it. You simply repeated that his dog had indeed died, and then in a couple of weeks he'll be getting a new dog, which you have no idea if that's gonna happen or not. Wasn't it, you know, there, there, the lack of adjectives <laughs> and description and just overall warmth was certainly lacking in that oh. personalized video. Jimmy, do you want to try? Maybe you can make Timmy feel better. <laughs> yeah. Timmy, the Tim, boy whose dog died. Timmy, I, I love you, man. And I, he's a, he's I, a child. Don't I don't know Timmy, if you want. <laughs> you're getting weird. You're already creepy. Well, why don't children get love? Can I go I on? This is I my just, message. All right. Dear Timmy, I know your dog died. It reminds me of the time when my father told me that I was nothing and less because I'm from a broken family. <laughs> and then I walked out to look for a pet squirrel. Too long. And the squirrel bit me. <laughs> Wrap it up, please. And... and you're running out of Jimmy, time. It's it, it's okay if you still have Jimmy, mommy and daddy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Robert, take the microphone away from him for sure. In fact, Robert, you can do this. Uh, this one is right up your alley. I know uh, you've uh, you interned before you intern. 
Uh, I know you're just an intern. I'm just an intern, yes. But yes, before absolutely. you were just an intern on the Side Dave show, you were actually just an intern at a hospital in Pennsylvania. Is that true? That is correct. That is yes. true. Uh, well, then this will be perfect. Tina wanted us to uh, give her a personalized video shout out. She's in the hospital after suffering a diabetic stroke. Mm. So, boy, oh boy. Uh, go ahead, Robert. Make Tina, it's re intern Robert, and sorry if this isn't great, I'm just an intern. Um, but it sounds like you've pissed off God, and I don't know what you did wrong. But however, you should figure out how to make it right from the big guy before he takes your life away. Okay, that's... that's <laughs> Andrew oh laughs. God. He laughs at that darkness. He laughs at that evilness. Maybe Roy? Oh, you want me to talk some, and some, play at the well, same time, you know, David? Uh, you, oh, you know, uh, just hit one chord, then. Okay, just, right? just use your left what's, hand. What's, uh, what's Tina? The, Tina. She's in the hospital after suffering Ooh. a diabetic stroke. Tina, I am so sorry that you are a fat pig. Oh, oh, but oh, with proper oh, hygiene geez. and proper etiquette and diet, you may pull yourself out of this diabetic frenzy that you've brought upon yourself. <laughs> My prayers that are with you, Tina. Hoping. My prayers are with Tina. You think that saves at the end? <laughs> you yeah. said she was fat. She brought it up on herself. Very yeah. offensive. Um, yeah, all right, fine. Um, Andrew, yes. a guy named George is... Uh, Coming to the East Side Dave Show because we are uh, friendly to all peoples, race, yes we are, creed, yes, yeah. and even sexual orientation. Yes. And this yeah. gentleman George is coming out of the closet, so I guess he wants a little words of motivation and encouragement. Uh, personalized video shout out. George is his name. He would maybe like to know he's coming out of the closet. I guess. George. Uh, uh, George, you'll be welcome. Please, side day show anytime. Anytime you want. Welcome to the side day show anytime you anytime want. I want. And everybody loves you. It's the way you are. It's the way you are. Everyone loves you just the way you are. Classy. Bo, can you? Uh, why don't you take uh, George, who's coming out of the closet? Anything? George, good luck with that one, because you're gonna need it, <laughs> depending where you live in the oh country. Oh my god. <laughs> That sounded threatening. Oh, you sound like the guy who shot Harvey Milk at this point. <laughs> you sound like a oh, my God. an assassin <laughs> who murders gay people. It was very oh, threatening sounding. Robert, you said you had something for George, so yeah. I'll triple down on George, because especially after Bo's Jeffrey Dahmer-esque personalized yeah, was, video shout out. I'm a little I'm just an intern, but that was a little terrifying. Um, I, I just wanted to let George know we support him. This is who he was born as, unlike Good. Tina, that fat bitch who ate all the sugar and put herself in a diabetic okay. coma and oh. got exactly what I, she deserved. I think Tina, I think Robert knows Tina, and uh, I think Robert owes Tina money. Um, Dave, can I try? No, you can't. Oh, man. <laughs> Lastly, uh, Flutzi, you could, uh, Francine, she was recently fired from her job. Oh, damn. You can do this one after her, uh, Jimmy. You're looking at me very sadly, and I'm feeling well, depressed about it. Francine, I'm sorry to hear that you were fired at your job. Um, your boss may not have liked you so much, probably because you never showed up on time to work. And, oh, no. and maybe because like, you just messed up every project you were ever given. But that's okay, because maybe you're beautiful. But maybe, who knows, everyone thinks someone's ugly in the world. So maybe you don't even have that going oh, for you. But okay. listen, but what I'm trying to say is... Oh. At the end of the day, this is not helping. You may be out of money, and who knows? Maybe you're not even married, but you'll find another job okay. eventually. But thank just don't you. fuck that okay, one up. Okay, thank you, Flutie. Andrew, you, you wanted to jump in on that? <laughs> oh, by coming late? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Who, uh, who, who, who always comes late? <laughs> Are you talking about Flutzy? Yes, I am. Oh, God. This is not a cameo for Flutzy. The this animosity is a cameo for Francine is Bo. Why don't you save uh, this? Okay, Jimmy. Jimmy first. Go ahead, Jimmy. Jimmy, take it. Jimmy. Jimmy. When I say take it, take it. I really don't like that. That's the one thing I fucking hate. Okay. Go. 
What's her name again? Uh, Francine. Fucking Francine, you Francine. goddamn dickbag. Francine. Fucking Francine! Now the next fucking time I say take the mic, you fucking take the mic, you son of a bitch! Or I'm gonna put these goddamn size 12 in your fucking ass! David, please, you're turning right Here's red. my personal shout out for Francine! You want a job, honey? Come to the Side Dave Show and slit Jimmy's fucking throat! I'll pay you 600 fucking dollars, bitch! That's a fucking job for ya! Murderous Jimmy's ass! Anyway, continue, Jim. Continue. Now give uh, Francine a nice shout out, please. Thank you. Go ahead, Jim. Fr Francine. <laughs> continue, please. Uh, I'm from a broken family. Come on. And the closest person I have to a friend just yelled at me and said awful things to me. <laughs> so it's it about can't Francine. Be that bad. Well, you from a broken family. Okay, give it, give it, give it to Bo, please. Give it to Bo. Bo, please save this. Give Francine maybe some words of encouragement, and let's wrap it up already. All right. Microphone to the face, so that the words coming out of your mouth going into that amplified piece of equipment, Francine, which then Francine, are broadcast we're... to the people at home. Francine. Without you speaking into a microphone, your words just float away. Into nowhere. Understood? Go ahead, Bob. Francine. Word of advice. You can always pretend to be an illegal. Though you'll get a new job quickly. <laughs> <laughs> he never disappoints, does he, David? Oh, man. The genius. So, uh, Drew, can you... Uh Take those videos and <laughs> upload them to Cameo.com. In fact, we're going to get banned from Cameo.com before the night's over. <laughs> that is definitely... Bravo, everyone. Yeah. I think I j I'm looking right now. Cameo, yeah, our account has been suspended. So, okay. Um, so now we play our next game, which is the crazy Puerto Rican woman plays the flute game. And she's coming up to the stage right now. I can't wait for Hawk to fuck this up. <gasps> oh, man. Oh, man. He said it. I didn't say it. He said oh, it. Oh, man. I told you it. it was going to be a contentious episode. Did I not? I told one. you. Oh. There was that in the air. There was I a... I smelled it. Yeah. It was in the air. It I was thought it was a, Big A, but a, a, I, I thought it was Big A, a, a tense, too. A tense electricity oh, tonight. Okay. Um, so the object of the game, uh, Hawk, what's the phone number again? Or Drew or whoever uh, puts it. Uh, 877-962-6846. You call in the show. You guess the movie of the song that she's playing. You become the May 7th, 2019 Eastside Dave Show champion. And then you go and you change your Twitter profile to the May 7th, 2019 Eastside Dave Show champion. And that's the highest honor a human being can possibly get. 877-962-6846. Make sure you call in right now as Flutzy plays the song. Actually, got it at the end. Believe it or not, the, the beginning was difficult. Um, Robert, uh, do you know? And uh, Robert, grab the microphone because I, I realize there's a gentleman sitting behind you. Yes. And oh <laughs> yes, uh, I, I I just noticed right now. Uh, I just noticed he sort of has a Bray Wyatt type of look to him. Uh, I don't know if you're a wrestling fan or not, but um, kind of have a Bray Wyatt uh, thing going on with that, which is fine. Yeah, I'm a big fan. And who is that behind you, Robert? Um, that is my friend Tom. Tom, well, Hello, Tom. welcome, Tom. I'm Lovely okay. beer, Tom. Can I call you Tom Wyatt? Like, you know, part of the Wyatt family? Okay, Tom. all right, excellent. Uh, you're from Pennsylvania too, Tom Wyatt? Yes. Yes, okay, fantastic. So that was a long train ride. What, four hours? Car ride. 
Car ride? Oh, oh, you guys drove up, so it was a little, yeah, how driving. long was the car ride at least? Uh, three and a half hours. Three and a half fucking nice. hours. That's a long ride. So Robert's doing a seven hour round trip just for the East Side Dave show yeah. tonight. You know what, Robert? Two points. Yeah. Two motherfucking points, That's baby. That's dedication, baby. Two yeah, motherfucking sure. points. I and mean, you're just an intern, but I'm just that an shows intern. Thank you, though. Thank you. All right. Um, Okay, we have, oh boy, we have a heavy hitter on the line right away. Rising in Brady the Brady from Colorado. Brady, he wants to play Brady, 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 Brady. Brady, Brady, Brady uh, do you want to hear the song again? Or yes, please. Yes, okay, Brady wants a replay of the song, and then we're going to need a guess, Brady. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, Brady, we're going to be a guest now, Brady. And by the way, My one of your... Is that I'm panicking and have no idea and I'm going to hang up and listen. Thank you, bye! Bye! Oh, man. Get him off the phone. He, I can't even yell oh, get him off the man. phone because he got off the phone. Just, that's that's a brand new strategy. I they fear <laughs> he's getting yelled at <laughs> so much. I think it was that he just he yelled at me. Everyone got it's afraid. Like, yes. Oh, All right, because we have another heavy hitter. He's won multiple times, and he is quickly rising to becoming a primetime player. Steve from New Jersey. <laughs> Oh, thank you, everybody. All right, Steve. Steve, Steve. Hey, Steve. Uh, Brady did not know it. He bailed out before I could even yell at him to get off the phone. Hopefully, you have an idea. Do you have an idea of this? He's a slick one. Uh, yeah, honestly, I don't. And I know I'm treading water at the moment. Uh, but are there any clues that could possibly sure. be given? Sure, there That's are awesome. clues. I would say that um, this is a very recent... Uh, movie franchise. I would say that um, you can think of multiple films, and that's all I'm really willing to give you. But it's very recent, very current, multiple films. But you know, there are several franchises, so uh, you know, it's you have now. A, uh, the, I'm not gonna give any more. I ain't gonna give okay. any more. There are several franchises, and I'm torn between two. Sound it out. So, um, uh, this Shout is it very out. tough. It talk it out I'm with me. Say, David Philbin is here to talk it out with you. I'm here to help you. I am I am on your side, Stephen. You're a loyal, loyal uh, East Side Dave Show audience member. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you know what? Here it goes. I'm going to say Star Wars. Star Wars. Get him off the phone, dog! Fuck this loyalty! Get him off the phone, dog! Oh, get him on the phone, Hawk! Oh, get him on the phone, Hawk! Get him on the phone, Hawk! Get him on the Speaking in tongues. He wants to get him on the phone, Hawk! Oh, Sharon. Sharon, the champion is now on the line. Sharon is calling from California and she is still Sharon, regarded as the Michael you. Jordan of the crazy Puerto Rican woman who plays the flute game. She is the champion of champions and Sharon Woo! might yes. have a big time victory here. I I'm Sharon. sensing a possible win here, but Woo! I'm not going to give any more hints and no more hints. Sharon? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you have uh, a yeah. guess? Yeah, I do have a guess. Okay. Is it the Avengers? Bam! Yeah! Sharon. I miss you. Love you guys. Bye, Bye. Sharon. You're love fantastic. You. Change that Twitter profile if you want. I love her. Bye, Sharon. Sharon. Sharon is so good. She's, she's literally like a Michael so Jordan. Have you, have, have you noticed that? Um, 
Footsie, you had a podcast idea. Drew, uh, are you with me on this uh, this thing here? Do you know what we're, we're talking about here, Drew? I have pictures. Oh, yeah. Drew knows what we're talking about. Um, Footsie wants to host a podcast, Ooh. right? Yeah. And what's this podcast going to be about, please? Um, I think it's smart to give it, to talk about your idea on the air because I think that if people are watching, they might have input and or ideas and or people you could work with. Yeah. So, yeah, I um, would. So, I guess basically I want it to loosely revolve around, like, anything to do with relationships, love, sex intimacy. Bird. Sex You want, you want to be kind a of, sex but, but no, because there's a lot of that already out there. So I want it to be funny. Okay. And uh, there will be a component to it where I have a professional on as a guest. So it could be like a sex therapist, marriage counselor, um, I don't know, life coach. Oh, you know? a life coach. Any one of those people loosely. Again, it's like the loose topics here. Gotcha. Right? And okay. then um, talk oh. shit about whatever's happening in the media. Hold and then on. Robert, the intern, wants to say something here. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm just an intern, but I have a few questions. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> first uh -oh. off, if you're not successfully in a relationship, oh, no. how are you going to have a... Podcast because it's not it's not an advice if you're show. not funny how are you gonna make it funny oh <laughs> again i'm just an oh, intern i just have he these questions just an intern and he is robert oh. maybe Tensual. give the microphone back well Jimmy. i would be inclined <laughs> to take his advice <laughs> those interns are rough. if he wasn't just you. an intern I, I, it, it, it must be a full moon Dude, tonight i am telling you there, there is something up that's crazy man. um all right, so relationship advice, overall life uh, stuff, life tips from Flutesy. Kind of tips, but more so a show. An open dialogue. An open dialogue. Open dialogue and callers, then callers, yes. Callers on the podcast. Yes. that's not easy to do because podcasts well, it, it are usually be, recorded. It would need to be on a network with like a live listening You're base. looking for a network. Kind like of a, like... Compound Liz. media. You want uh, maybe a compound well, we'll media I mean, uh, show? Hey, I mean, you know, why not uh, it say it out there? Flutzy would like her own. Why don't you at least try a compound media special? Have you thought of that? Maybe. Have you thought of going yeah. to Keith the Cop and saying, hey, don't pay me jack and shit, but I'll take a Friday and Which is I will uh, dominate uh, a visual show right here. Uh, Flutzy the Sexpert or whatever your title is. Do you have any ideas for the name of the show? Um... I have a few, but nothing that's sticking right now. Mm, ew. That was gross. Because, like, she's a sex bird and she's, like, sticking. Sticking. Yeah. How about, how about this? Stick it in me with Flutesy. Mm, <laughs> that, that might a be idea? a little too literal. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not sure about that How about one. this? How about this? Ask me questions. <laughs> Starring Flutesy, <laughs> because you know everyone talks about the thing there. Oh, the, you had the a good J -Lo -esque one. J Lo esque body you had part. A, that's yeah, on you. true. You had the other, uh, the other idea. Uh, tit talk. Tit talk was one of my ideas. That's a good idea. It's just it's nice and quick. Tit talk with Flutesy. Tit talk. Um, How about pussy powwow, David? Pussy powwow. <laughs> that's one of mine. I oh, love Dave. pussy powwow. Andrew. Yeah, and mine was. Just the tip. Just the, the tip. tip. Oh. With Flutzy. That's all you need, baby. These are good. <laughs> Bo, give us a name, because I'm sort of liking this. Bo, uh, do you have a name of what Flutzy's show should be? Oh, boy. Ad advice from someone who's always late. <laughs> hmm. Advice it's a long from title. someone who's always late. Um, a little bit of a long title. Not a great title, name, but okay. Bo. Uh, Jimmy, please... Um, Please uh, give us a name, please. The Search for Harmony by Flutzy. The Ooh. Search for Harmony, starring Flutzy. Okay, uh, that's that a little good. bit too Hallmark Cardi for me. Um, I want to give Robert another shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> Let, let's see. Robert, um, come on, give us something, baby. Um, for the title of the show, I would say let's figure it out. Because like you could figure let's it figure it out. out. Like you could work through issues with people like as they work through issues together yeah, talk but about that's some of your funny. problems I mean pussy I feel powwow like it's pretty on I think so <laughs> yeah pussy powwow that's okay. why he's just you an know, intern David yeah um I like all of these 
Uh, how about co-hosts? Do you have? I need a co-host. Yes. Co-host? Well, give us some ideas. I need a give male. Give us what you're looking at. You take co-host. it away. What? How about this? If someone could call up the show right now, we could actually do an impromptu version. I don't oh see no God. why, no reason why. I wanted um, to show my pictures. What's the which phone number? Well, had I don't to want do to show with the pictures right now. Uh, uh, someone should give us the phone number: eight seven seven nine six two six eight four six for some sex tips <laughs> on the Pussy Pow Wow Show starting Flutzy. <laughs> um, I think uh, now's the time. Oh man! And uh, if you have anything to. Um, Ask Flutzy, maybe, uh, you know, blah, 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 and all of this, okay? Anyone? Um, no, so, one, uh, no one has problems. No one has problems. Roy, no, Roy, if you had a question for Flutzy while we wait for callers, uh, what would your uh, question be? Anything at all. I mean, something. Um, well, how do I, you know, make love? <laughs> <laughs> how do you make love? Wait yeah. a second. You, the, oh. I can't. Can I, well, can you I, start with a bottle of wine. <laughs> I think. Oh, oh see, go. we got something here. How do you make I think, wine? Think you I told you, I knew she got something. <laughs> All right, so I got the wine. What's yeah. next? All right, not bad. Oh, a yeah, little bit on. of lube. All right, all right. But coconut oil, that's my go-to. Oh, coconut oil. It's true. Uh, Bo, what's a question for Flutzy? <laughs> I would imagine it would be similar to Roy's, only with a couple extra words. How do you make love to a woman? <laughs> I would think would be your question. How do you lose the virginity? Yeah, how do you right? That should be your number one question. Being yeah. that, how old are you again? Uh, 37. 30, how, how old? 37. And 37? 37. And have we had intercourse yet? I just want to make. Uh, no. I just want on the record. No. Okay. No. All right, ask her a question. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to lose the V card. How to convince them to. That I need to lose it right away before I turn the big four zero. Oh, how oh. do you convince th- well, them? Well, first off, <laughs> before he turns the big four zero. First off, if you're, you if you're looking to convince them, as in a broad range of people, convince, by it's the way. not gonna work as convince well. Convince is very date rapey term, yeah. anyway. So what Bo, I suggest? It's not convincing. Oh, yeah, force them. <laughs> how do I force them? <laughs> Bo, you are so close. How how do I drug them? And get them to pass out. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think Bo. focus on one or two people at a time, and Bo, you gotta go to develop the bars. a relationship with them. Oh, that's take sweet them advice. out, hang out, say cute things to them. Go to the bar, show them pictures of all the shows you do on your phone, and then you tell them like, "I'm a celebrity. I'm Bo, motherfucker." That's and, wrong. And then, and I'm telling you, oh, it's wrong. Get them some shots and pretend you're a bigger celebrity than you are. And it's I just mean. Fun. Having a bit of like, you know, pride in what you do is great, but too much pride. He needs something. He gotta, it's going to be a he, turn he off. got to change status quo. Hold on. We have a caller. Sloan. Oh, Sloan God. has called Sloan. the phone number. Keep that hotline up there too, Drew, so that people know to call in if they have any questions. If you have eight seven seven nine six two six eight four six. This is the Flutzy Sex Advice Show. The pa- Pussy Pow Wow. We'll take this and give it to <laughs> Keith the Cop there. Uh, Sloan yeah, right. has a question. Yeah, uh, Flutzy, uh, I just found out that the money I gave my mother for rent, uh, she spent it on a tram stamp that says parking in the rear. Uh, my question is, uh, what was the name of the android in the movie Alien? That's a great oh, question. Shit. He, his mom wow. took his goddamn money, got a tram stamp, and yeah. then he needs to know the, the name of that character. The, the robot in Alien? Yeah. Is that its well, I can't help you with the alien part, but you know Ooh. what? You should probably ask your mom why she's trying to relive her 20s. Oh. A little bit late. Um, is she still married? No, she hung herself. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> she hung herself. I, I, Shit. So now you're. I mean, there's so many. Moving Are you parts still gonna make fun of this man? You're still gonna mock him. I mean, she probably him? hung herself because she got that tramp stamp, and then realized oh my God. it was gonna cost more money to to get it removed. I'm not sure that's what you wanted to say to Sloan. And is that all Sloan? Sloan hung up. I, I he think did. I know now the name of the upset. alien. I think it's Shepard from Alien. Is that the name of the... Excuse the me. Is, robot is... His name was Bishop. Is Bishop, that's it. That's right. Jimmy's Bishop. Cock Talk? <laughs> Well, I, it's Tit Talk with Flutzy. It is AKA TikTok. also known as Pussy Pow Wow. I was trying to help. Okay, you're not helping. Multi- you're hurting. It's the opposite of help, what you're doing right now. I was... Minus two points! <laughs> Um, how about the gentleman in the back? Let's give it to Tom Wyatt for a second. Maybe he's got a question. Just because he's an interesting Welcome. looking fellow. Welcome. And uh, maybe he has something to say. He's probably got a lot of answers, um, too. Mm. Uh, how, how do you deal, in, deal with a polygamous relationship? There 
you go. A, a polygamous. How do you deal with a polygamous relationship? Um, Many partners. So, so you po- are polyand- poly- polyandry, polyamorous. So, polyamorous. So, so you are polyamorous. You are polyamorous. I'm not, but how do you He's deal just, with it? How do you deal with it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, a, this is a serious question these he days. Wants how do you, know. how do you, he wants so to how do you deal with being in one? Yeah, like, it, okay. you know, jealousy, and there's all kinds of different right. things can come with that. Um, well, first off, the key word is polyamorous, so you have to ask yourself, are you okay with that? You have two dicks? <laughs> that, again, it's not your segment. Some, some say it feels like it. <laughs> I mean, that would be a different I mean, issue. Tom, can you just so that the audience at home knows, do you have two penises? Just to answer Roy's fucking uh, question. You, you would have to pay me later to find out. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> So you're a working man, I see. Hold on, we've got a That's call. Brady wants to ask uh, Flutes a question. Get Hi, Brady. Hi. Brady, thank Hi, you, Tom White. Brady? Hi, Fluisa. I have a question for you. <laughs> so there's this girl, and she's mildly attractive, and really great personality, nice ass, but um, she's got a weird nose, and she's Puerto Rican. Is it worth oh, God. <laughs> to try to get her? Take your call. You're, you're trying to go out with her? Thanks. You do understand that when you have a caller show, these are some of the risks you're like, going to be taking. I know. Um, <laughs> Maybe this isn't the network for this type of show. <laughs> it might not be. Yeah. You might need to find some opposite spectrum of compound media. I know. Um, well, do, thanks for the deterrent. <laughs> not going to happen dude, how here. How are we doing over there? Uh, one second. One second. Be- because, okay, so the co-host that you're looking for is um, what does this person need to entail? He needs to be ma- a man. He needs to be a man? Yes. Okay. Uh, because you need both sides of the spectrum. All right. He needs to be a comic. Comic? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. I like at least that he's being he has for to change. Be, yeah, because he has to be a comic and he has to be funny. Funny? Like, I'm not a comic. Not a comic. But I can have banter. Banter. I you. can do banter well, but you I'm can. not a comic. So You can have banter? I mean, I can provide banter. Yes. Right. But, I, like but I'm not a comic. Can you have banter now? I mean, that's what this is. <laughs> so. Um, okay. Fair enough. So a man. A man. A, a comic. comic and banter. banter. All right. I mean, Bantress. that would come with it. All right. But. I think I have the gentleman oh, for you. Oh, God. He is going to be put I up. have a hint. I have a thought. For and this here he is. Oh! Oh! Nothing quite says controversy than a man wearing an Eastside Dave shirt, a travel Travis Bickle <laughs> jacket <laughs> while clearly doing drugs on the air. But oh. I am being serious. Oh, I actually feel like you and Stevie Lou would have a fantastic show. Oh yeah? Oh yes! Would you what 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 do you want? Some goddamn fucking comic that makes the same fucking rounds of every goddamn show that no. we know and we know the same fucking people. You said male, you said comedian, boom, Stevie's a man, Stevie's a comedian, you said banter. Boom, boom, and boom. To me, he checks all the boxes, and this is a goddamn show that the Dave man would watch. I, I mean, would. how about some rock enthusiasm for that? Yeah. Oh, man, come yeah. on. Yeah. Hey, guys, oh, can you hear me over there? Can you hear me fine? Oh, sorry, Stevie, go ahead. Can you hear me over there? Yes, we can hear you just perfectly, Stevie. Uh, like, Welcome, Stevie. Yeah, I, I love you guys, man. It's great to see you and hear from you again. Uh, who, who do you got? Roy is over there. Roy's I there, am here, Stevie. We're all here. Uh, 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 Big, no. uh, great. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I figured that this would be a great opportunity. You know, me and Flutzy had such great chemistry on air. Absolutely. You know? And then uh, we would share bodily fluids, uh, you know, off air. So I figured <laughs> this is just a perfect opportunity. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is incorrect. Um, That is oh. interesting, at least. Come on, come on. Stevie Lowe, everyone. Hey, 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 I mean, it's interesting. Hey, 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 Give him some credit here. Stevie. 
Sorry. That's an interesting point. Bodily fluids. Oh. See, Stevie, oh, I think that you and Flutie would be perfect. Oh. Not that, again, a, 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 another uh, 50, you know, year old comedian who plays this. Uh, you're you, you're yeah. a, a, about uh, Flutie's age. Everything seems like it would work perfectly here, Stevie. Yeah, Dave, you know what? I'm pretty available right now. Uh, I just got fired as Nick DiPaolo's uh, artwork oh, uh, guy. Fine. So, um, okay. uh, you know, well, I have some openings here. Oh. Uh, you know, we'll make a cameo.com yeah, video for you later. Yeah, I was going to say, we should do that for you. I've, I've noticed that Flutie, uh, Flutie, you're there, right? Yes. She's right. She's or, sitting next you're to me. At least, you're, you're half there. Uh, so I saw that she was on Bill Schultz recently. She was on Brian McCartney's show. And then I also saw that she is uh, apparently Chip Chipperson's new retarded female co-host. Oh, my. Oh. Well, this is, again, very interesting stuff to me. Yeah, very oh, interesting. Man. I mean, oh. do you want someone agreeing with you? Or do you want someone oh. to challenge Is he you? supposed to be the new co-host of my show co or something? Oh. This is what no. the flutesy, this is what this the is not, Powell This is not what I had in mind. and Stevie Lou. No. <laughs> America's favorite couple. This is I what the show's going to look like. I so. I'm going to give this tape to goddamn Keith the Cop tomorrow. Oh. No. This is fascinating stuff. This ain't some fucking guy who simply wants to get in your pants. I mean, I think this he does. Guy's shout He's talking about bodily fluids that never happens. <laughs> well, maybe. He doesn't does have to become. I could have spit in your mouth, too. It doesn't have to become. No. <laughs> you, <laughs> you will not get <laughs> 10 God feet from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, listen, so, no, can I say something nice about yes, Lucy yes, for a second? Please. Um, She's got an amazing ass. Uh, she's definitely that's her best talent, her ass. Uh, but well, besides that, besides that, besides that, I must say is that she's always given me great, accurate love advice uh, with all the crazy situations that I fall into here as a single New York City guy. Oh. She has actually given me some decent advice before, so I think this could be a great thing for oh, her. Well, well, you said right. How about that? So not bad. See what and I'm talking about. High note. Yeah. No, we're not yeah. ending here. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't end this at all. Actually, we're just started. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I, I've got a few things. If we're gonna do this, I want her to sign some sort of contract that uh, says that if she she comes late, she'll be replaced immediately. So, uh, oh, she arrives oh, late to the God. to the show. She's gonna be instantly yeah. fired. I'm trying to think of the long term effects here. So, also, um, Lucy, it'll, it'll be uh, pussy powwow with Stevie Lowe right. then. Very yeah, quickly. Yeah, sure on time. You the show. You're never never on time for the East Side Dave show. So that's gotta change ASAP. Uh, <laughs> oh, You've and, been oh, far this removed. Is upsetting. <laughs> and I listen, could, finally, well, I, I, also the other big rule is a. Uh, as a Puerto Rican, uh, no stealing any equipment or uh, no illegitimate children allowed in the studio either. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, Which is funny. You know, I find this to be fascinating. So, a round of applause for Stevie bringing the thunder. Look, look, hold on. You're you're looking at this way too with too much skepticism, Flutzy. Uh, by by a round of applause, who would watch this show? I would watch this show. This this will be the biggest show on Compound Media in two weeks. I am telling you for a fact. Now, what do you think so far? I have to think at all about it. Well, this is this not. Is, you uh, you said you're you're a banter that's... person, so let's give some banter. What do you yeah, think of what Stevie Lou has brought I'm to the table so here? I'm not so sure because no, he I'm was fascinated by he it. was insulting, but then also kind of complimenting, but then also kind of. Well, so in other words, you want a co-host that's going to kiss your ass for 60 minutes, it's or do you want a guy me, that's going to do both? No, but it's not about me. The point is it's that the show well would not Fuji. be about me. Well, it, it is. It would be it about other people and their issues. And then to just make light of situations, not really talk about myself or anything about me, actually. I think in order to provide some advice, though, usually people give themselves a relatable position. Yeah, of they, course. They provide a few right. of their past experiences, so some of it's going to be about you. No? Yeah, from my experiences, but it's not going to be about me. How, we, how It's always about them and the No, issue. Jim, hold on. Uh, Stevie, comment? Yes. Yeah, so like I, I can say this, Flutzy, I've seen you've gotten up at the West Side uh, Comedy Club. You've been really getting out there uh, on stage, but clearly you're gonna need someone to write your jokes because oh. you know they're not they're not so great. You know, but but because there's, there's a no lot joke. Of, of build on, you know, 
We can just build and grow the show much like you're growing that beautiful ass. Oh, man. I am riveted. I mean, to me, this is compelling television right here. Can you actually grow an ass? Is that I mean, well, I, I guess mean, if you eat. With enough squats. If you eat a lot. Uh, eating yeah. in squats. And donkey kicks. Yeah, I donkey guess. kicks. You can do that. We um, can donkey punch, too. I'll donkey punch her. Oh, um, Oh God! Boy. All right. Um, well, thanks for your input, Stevie. No, listen, listen. Let, 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 let's all be serious here, Lucy. I love you. You know that, and I would be honored to be involved with any project with you or anyone from the East Side Dave Show. That includes you, Bobo. If Bobo wants to get involved, if Lucy turns me down, I'll be Bobo's co-host of whatever freak show that show he out. wants to get going. I love it. So, I think Stevie Lou has a lot to provide, personally. I've been trying to get him back up here uh, through the uh, massive security uh, <laughs> checkpoints. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> trying try to get Stevie Lou in the compact media doors these days, like trying to get the Unabomber through a federal building. Um, <laughs> Stevie, again, I would watch the uh, Stevie Lou uh, powwow with special guest uh, assistant Flutzy any single day of the week. I think this is a winning program. I think America would love it very much. But, I mean... That right. wouldn't be the special guest, though. Would, 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 are, would, would you seriously turn down Stevie or... I mean, Stevie I have to think about it. Does he get any consideration at all? He gets consideration. I, did he offend you in any way, shape, or form? I mean, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I'd say so. Fair. Fair. Because Listen, he's if offended. this show doesn't work out, we could also maybe talk to Roy Harder about, like, this day in Nazi history or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> <That'll>, <laughs> that's, Roy uh, would do that show in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up, buddy. Roy, this, on this day in Nazi Germany, I came up with the ideas in, for the trains in. The trains in runs on lines in and bring the Judens to the Auschwitz ends. Oh, go to sleep, Judies. Go to oh, sleep. Oh, hold on a second, David. Good night. Hold on a second, buddy. Oh. It looks like uh, yes. points. My, my sessions for the week have just gotten canceled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There it goes on. I was going to tell you, why are you naming these huge brand names on our program tonight? Oh, I was like, okay, I didn't tell you to do this. Um, all well, right. Roy, Roy is still over there, Dave? I'm here, Roy, Roy's right here. Yep. Yeah, really quick. Um, we're all set to go on that project that we discussed uh, earlier this week. Is this project uh, about drug dealing? How many? No, it's a few more days out, but uh, th it's on its way to Miami from oh Dominican Republic. Yeah, we know so, what your uh, goddamn project is. I want to make sure is. you can handle handle this this sort of big uh, big thing, you know. So it's the same project in Narcos. I got right. seen Stevie. that show. Wink, wink, right. buddy. Okay, he can't yeah. see you wink when you have sunglasses up. across the ocean. Stevie Low, I think the show's a hit, but I guess it's up to Stevie Low, everybody. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, what's what's your Well, that'll do it. What a guy. For us. It was a controversial episode, as expected. I had a feeling like it was going to be like this. I, for a change, did not get my hands dirty, I feel. You did not, I, David. I, I, I feel just fine and dandy about myself. The rest of you... Why? You... Why? Have to look yourself in the mirror. What did I do? And say, am I as good of a human being as I think I am? I don't think so. The answer... No, you're not. That's why you're from a broken family. That's why you're just an intern. Too, I like the homeless Robert. look coming. And Bo, that's why. <laughs> that's pretty good. Bo, that's why you'll never pass your UPS driving exam. You will get laid though. And by the way, Bo, your Mets will never win another goddamn World Series. But you'll still get laid. For the rest <laughs> of Major League Baseball, a comet will hit the planet Earth and we'll all be destroyed before the Mets ever win again. But you will get laid. So, <laughs> just keep that in mind. Same. Me too. All right, let's wrap it up here, Roy. Here we go, buddy. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad 
the news Cause damn it's been a real fine day Damn it's been a real fine day From Long Island to West L.A. No need to worry cause I ain't in no hurry Damn it's been a real fine day there's a whole lot of trouble out in this world, yeah. A whole lot of worry, whole lot of worry. Now that I had you come into my life, there's a whole lot of reason to say. Damn, it's, it's been, been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Got on my new shoes, ain't no way we're gonna lose. Cause damn, it's been a real fine.